Okay, Dieter will call this video Three Scraped Guitars Are Better Than None. Now, if you watch some of my most recent videos, I know anyone who's a luthier probably thinks I'm nuts. Well, you know what? I'll tell you, I don't give a shit what you think because this is my channel, these are my videos, this is my experience, and you can't, if you haven't, and I will just say this to you, whoever you may be, if you haven't tried what I'm doing, you have no business commenting on it. That's all. I'm not a, I'm not an idiot, so. $3,200 Alhambra. Um, what they do with a good guitar that is considered a, a mid-level or non-blingy high-end or entry-level professional or advanced student guitar, whatever, doesn't matter. To protect them, because they make a lot of them, they put a finish on, and the finish has value. Now, the Alhambra used nitrocellulose. This was a gorgeous guitar, but if you have, you, you know the difference between a matte finish and a high gloss finish. A matte finish is, is thinner, and they usually will sound same quality wood, same type of guitar, a matte finish will sound better than a high gloss finish usually and um, <clears throat> an unfinished or just lightly, lightly, lightly or shellac finish will even sound better than that. It's because it's thinner. And uh, if you don't believe me, I, I mean, I don't care. You're just, you're just wrong. So um, what I did with this, I t you took, took the strings off, took everything off and I took a cabinet scraper and very carefully I spent hours. I, I scraped. I scraped it all down, basic, almost, almost to the raw wood, and then I polished what was left. Now I only have hand tools. I mean, I don't have. If you look at it closely, uh, it, it's not a, a perfect finish. But there's no, there's no gouges in it. You know, I polished it off. There, 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 I didn't, I didn't nick the wood. And it instantly sounded better. I did it to this $3,200 guitar. I did it to this $3,600 guitar. And I did it to this, it was 2200 back in 1998. So this would probably be a six, seven thousand dollar guitar nowadays, people. And I did it to this. And if any one of you think I'm lying, I'm not. And if any one of you is a luthier who thinks I'm full of shit, uh, politely, <laughs> you're full of shit, man. I've done it, and the re and I will put these up. I'm not saying I'm a great player, but I, I will put these up against uh, a luthier guitar that costs two to three times as much. And if you have put too much finish on your guitar, these will sound as good or better. Now, I know you're not going to take me up on that because you, you don't want to be embarrassed, but I know. Dita, Dita just deals with Dita, Dita facts. And you know, <laughs> a little comment, you know, on this new age bullshit about my truth. There's no such thing. There's just the truth. So, Dita deals with the truth. And uh, you, you can't tell me I didn't do this because I did it. And, I, and, and you can't tell me I didn't spend three, four or five days and, 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 and 60 hours scraping off this finish. And I got a ton of finish off. So we can agree to disagree, but I know what I've done and I know, and I know how much better be sounded after I did it. So, you know, <laughs> this is why I go on and on about this. The single, if you have a good, like an expensive guitar that you know is well made and it sounds not like it should, there are two things you can do. You put a fucking armrest on it and if the finish is too thick, you scrape it down and it'll sound better. And I, I guarantee that. I guarantee it. I don't care who you are, what kind of guitar it is. So I'm going to say about this enough already. I've done. I've been doing videos all day today. For some reason, I'm on a roll. But have a good day, people.
and this is the truth. And I, I've scraped lots of guitars. I've scraped electric guitars. I've scraped bass guitars. I've, sc I've scraped about 15. Okay? I, I didn't scrape my lair. Uh, I scraped my Larave, and I honestly shouldn't have. Because he had just started using the UV finish, and I didn't know that. And that was a mistake. So I scraped that down to the bare wood, and I didn't have to do it. Uh, you've seen that guitar on my Larave DV03. I didn't have to do that. That's the one that I scraped that I didn't have to. I didn't have to do my Boucher, and I didn't have to do my Breedluff. Or any of the guitars that I've bought the last five years. Haven't had to touch them. So that's what I'm talking I'm talking about these older guitars mostly. Okay? Hope that helps. Bye. For now. Don't run out.